Hey, welcome to this episode of Reseller TV with your host Josh from JTSeroShop.com and my co-host today is the Cookie, Cookie Monster. Yeah, he sold for 30 on Etsy, plush of, I think I sold 3 or 4 plush from Etsy. Also, I think I didn't mention yesterday, I sold like 9 or 10 Gar Garfield things in a couple of days span, I don't remember if I mentioned that, so look out for Garfield stuff. Um, anyways, uh, $681 worth of stuff I believe going out. I, that gives me at least a week of every day being over $500 in sales, including my $1,200 day. Great. It's August. Usually it's slow. So um, fourth quarter is usually pretty good for me. Uh, so I'll take uh, I'll take all these. I'll take August being starting out in August. So um, anyway, $681 posh eBay Etsy. As good as eBay lately. Sometimes even better. Uh, Oregon football. This is a free newspaper that I got. I'll show you the other free things I got too, but um, ten dollars, I believe. Nothing, nothing crazy on that. Uh, this is a plain Harley Davidson polo. It's been sitting for a while. Probably not something I pick up again. It sold for, I believe, fifteen dollars. Steve Miller band has a hit on the other side. Sold on Poshmark for twenty-five dollars. Pretty cool little hoodie. Uh, this little guy was a dollar at a yard sale this sum the summer. Thirty-two dollars, I believe, on Etsy. Like I said, plush are good. Another thirty plus dollar sale on Etsy. This flamingo, funny. This estate sale I went to and I got this at had like hundreds of flamingo items all over the place. Definitely big into flamingos. Tinkerbell was on uh, from a storage unit. One of the storage unit things. I think it was like, I think I sold this for fifteen dollars on eBay. Ten dollars on eBay for old uh, Thor or Odinson. Thirty dollars for these. These were out of a. Uh, I bought a big bag of jewelry from the bins. It was just in a bag in, in the bins, and these were in there. 30 bucks for these guys, though. Uh, now they're a storage unit uh, pickup. This was $14 on eBay. Sold almost immediately. I might have underpriced it. I don't know. Now let's get into the big stuff, the, the heavy hitters here, the, the bolos. Fisher Price. Um, What's it called? Record player from the 1970s. Got this from my brother's storage unit for free. He gave it to me since I helped him out, and it sold for $50 on Etsy. Uh, this little guy sold for $46. I got him at a church sale. He's a miniature little transformer. Uh, the next best sale, Driver, San Francisco, sold for $86. It's actually a little bit lower than what they sold for, but I got it for $0.25, cents, so... Not really complaining. And then these ones are free out of the storage unit that I cleared out. And they sold for $300. Someone bought both of these for $300. The reason why these are so valuable, Steve Prefontaine. And Steve Prefontaine is in this. And there's also Tinker Hatfield for, the, for Nike, one of the designers is in there.